Good morning everybody, it's Jenny from Created to Create Studios here with another video blog. So I actually got a January 22 newsletter out there, so my subscribers already know what I'm about to let you know. Um, in my last video I was talking about trying to decide whether to close Created to Create Studios or try to keep it going. Um, we all know my health has been interfering with my ability to keep up on all the commitments and everything that's required. We also know that various COVID mandates and changes and everything going on in that climate makes doing business a little bit more tricky. Um, and we just closed my financials yesterday with my accountant and created to create studios. Definitely lost money last year um, because of needing to cancel events for which I already rented things and I invested in myself through mentoring programs and having professionals do some videos for me. So lots of things played into it, but it was not a money-making year. So when you add all those things up together, the decision seemed pretty obvious. Um, so I am just here to let you know that in true Chinese fashion, uh, we are not going to let the business license lapse. We are going to give it through October of 2023. Uh, I have learned enough about myself in this past year to see a pattern. When things get hard, Jenny runs. Um, in my mind, for some reason, it seems less humiliating to quit something than to fail at it. Um, so I'm the kind, when it looks like it isn't going to work, I bolt. Um, that's kind of historically been who I've been when it comes to doing hard things. Almost did it again with the business, but I decided I'm going to hang in there. Um, I didn't come to this decision on my own. I did talk to my accountant and my husband, and I've been praying on it. And um, this year taught me to get back to doing my one day at a time and to remember that I'm not in control of outcomes. All I can do is what I can do with what's in front of me right there. I've said it multiple times in previous videos and in previous letters. What does God have in front of me today that I can do today? And I'm going to try not to look too far and plan too big and let go a little bit of that vision board and goals that I that causes me stress and makes it seem like striving instead of a, a journey that I long to be on. So we're going to shift the mind a little bit. I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, workshops may turn into like a small group where we meet multiple weeks so people can get more comfortable with each other and do a little more sharing and we can do the projects more slowly um, a little bit more of an intimate level than a big classroom that goes fast and, and feels lost sometimes um, that will be less stressful for me more connection for me with others as well as others connecting and supporting one another um, so I'm, I'm thinking that out, got some feelers out. Um, otherwise, I still do have access to the loft when I'm ready to have the bigger classes when I'm feeling up for it. Um, looking to do some pop-up events in the spring for some of the inventory that's been sitting in my gallery for a while. So all that to say that I'm not going to throw in the towel just yet. Don't know how we're going to move forward, but we're just going to move forward with whatever happens on any given day but I'm not gonna give up um, if I fail I fail but I'm not gonna quit before we get to that point just because I'm afraid of failing so that's what's going on here we're keeping the business up don't know what it's gonna look like but you know I'll keep you updated when the time comes have a great day everybody